What's going on guys? This is Danny Montana. So today is my rest day and I decided to do cardio because whenever I'm resting, I'm always doing something, at least some little honest work, you know? It's not much, but it's honest work. So today I'm doing cardio. I'm gonna show you the exercises that we're doing and it's gonna be a high interval intensity training. And it's very important to be timing our workout and we'll have 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. And uh, this little thing will help me to do that. So this is the timer that I'm gonna be using and it has so many modes like high interval training, moderate interval training, Tabata, boxing, every minute of the minute, FGB, relax. So you can customize it the way you want. You can uh, use a stopwatch or as a countdown or just as a clock. But I'm gonna be using it as the high intensity interval training. So we'll have 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. So we're gonna do four different exercises. The first one is gonna be the bicep curl with the rubber band. The second one is the shoulder raises with the rubber band. And then we're gonna work on the bicycle, the third one. And after that, we'll work on the legs doing the jumping lunges. And this timer, it's pretty cool. We can just stick it because it has a magnet. We can just stick it here and it will show us when we have to work and when we have to rest. So let's get to work. I've set it for the high intensity interval training and it's giving me the countdown. And I will start working with the bicep curl. Let's go. Okay, 20 seconds of rest. And I'm gonna use the lighter rubber band because with this one it would be too difficult. And we go for shoulder raises on the side. So five seconds and let's go. Two, one, go. Whew. The pump is real. I wonder how many circles I will take because the pump is really awesome. Four, two, one. All right, 20 seconds, and then we go for a bicycle. Okay, I'm gonna twist it here so I can see it. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, twenty seconds rest. And straight after that, we go for jumping lunges. This one is going to be wild because jumping lunges are pumping legs like crazy. Five seconds. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds. Oh, the pump. Nine, eight. Oh, my God, this one is crazy. Twenty seconds, and we go back to bicep curl. Ready? Two, one. Go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Oh, it's really nice. High intensity workout. Now we're going for shoulders again. Every circle is going to be crazier than before. One, let's go. Fifteen 
10 seconds. One. Ah. Rest. <sighs> yeah, guys, the pump is just crazy. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Whew. Two, one, Ooh, rest. All right, the jumping lunges are the craziest. Ah, they just pump me the most. Let's go. 40 seconds of pain. Five, oh. two, Rest. Oh man. And now let's switch the exercises so we don't pump just bicep and the same muscles. Now we're gonna do tricep extension with the rubber band and then pulling to the weight to work on the back. The same bicycle. And after we go for jumping jacks instead of jumping lunges. And the same 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. Here, we go for Tricep first. Behind the head. Crazy pump. So after that, we go for pull. Ah, rest. It's a pretty cool thing. Just shows me how much time I have to rest. Three, two. Let's go, 40 seconds. Whew. Okay. Whew. And after that, we go for jumping jacks. Ready, two, one. So as you can see, you can choose pretty much any exercises and do this high intensity interval workouts to make your cardio look fun, look uh, interesting, entertaining, so you're not bored doing the same exercises over and over again. So you can mix them up and just make sure you don't overload, for example, legs. If you go like for squats and then after them you go for jumping lunges and after those you go for Again, for some squats, just try to build the program or your workout this way so you evenly distribute the load on your muscles and you don't over pump the same muscle group too much. So after those few circles of high intensity workout, I usually go for low intensity for the rowing machine and I stick there for about 15 minutes, just pure rowing without any uh, sprints or anything so just you know plain work just straight for 15 minutes and by the way guys if you're interested in one of these timers you can get it on Amazon I will leave the link for it in the description of this video so you can check it out and I go to the rowing machine for 15 minutes straight So don't be a lazy potato on the rest day, go out there and smash this cardio workout, high intensity, moderate or low intensity workout, just stay active, stay strong and you'll be healthy. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.